Here we go. Let's see our last, last, last question. I hope you're all paying attention. Okay, the diagram below illustrates protein synthesis. So we did protein synthesis last week as well, but let's look. So here is our DNA, okay, and N is going to be our messenger RNA, all right. Z will just be whatever that codon is there. Uh, P will be our amino acid, okay, and this here is going to be the N T codon because this little guy here is our transfer RNA. Okay, now Q, uh, this will be our tRNA. So if this is CC, uh, I mean GGC, that's going to be CCG. Remember adenine to thymine and guanine to cytosine and your thymine is in DNA and your uracil is in your RNA. I, I'm, I think I'm hearing voices in my head at the moment because I keep telling you that adenine to thymine and guanine to cytosine. All right and then X well I don't know what X is that's going to um, that's part of the uh, the messenger RNA so we'll find out when we look at our questions okay our question one it says name the molecule represented by N well we know that that was messenger RNA okay now remember messenger RNA in, in protein synthesis we have two processes the one Okay, the first one that happens inside the nucleus is transcription. It is the reading of the DNA code that is coded onto, now listen, listen to my words I'm using, coded onto the messenger RNA. Okay, and the messenger RNA now has code ons. And then the messenger RNA zoots, because the DNA can't leave the nucleus, it zoots out through the nuclear pore and into the cytoplasm and it then goes to the ribosome and it exposes its little bases and along comes transfer RNA and its anticodon is complementary so what does it do? It drops the specific amino acids off and that is how proteins are made. So transcription is the DNA makes RNA and translation at the ribosome RNA makes proteins. All right, so we had our messenger RNA. Write down the sequence of the first three nitrogenous bases of the DNA strand that led to the formation of Z. So let's just see where is Z. So what would have been on the DNA, okay, to make Z? Remember, it's complementary, and I'm going to do this here quickly. Let me show you this. If you have your DNA, you have your messenger RNA, and you have your transfer RNA, okay? Let's say here, your DNA, at least your messenger RNA is UCA. Your transfer RNA is going to be complementary. So if this is UCA, this is going to be complementary. So we go back to here. So U will be to A, C will be to G, and A will be to U because it's RNA. No, we won't have thymine, we will only have uracils. So what will the DNA be? The DNA will be A and G and T. Remember in DNA we have T's and in RNA we have this. So your DNA is complementary to your RNA, your messenger RNA and your DNA and, R and T RNA are the same, except Thymine versus uracil. All right, so um, it was UCA. So we go back here and we say, write down the sequence of the DNA. All right, so on the DNA, at least on the messenger RNA, we said it was um, UCA. So that means that on the DNA, what are we going to have? We are going to have A, G, T because DNA and messenger RNA are complementary. People, you must know that. Adenine to thymine, guanine to cytosine. That's it. So adenine to thymine in DNA. 
adenine to uracil in RNA. Okay, must know it. It is complementary. Here we have a table which shows the base triplets of DNA. Ah, now be careful because you see this question here. Normally what they do is they give you the mRNA codons. Here they're not doing that. They're saying, ha ha, let's see how, how bright our learners are and if they can figure this out. We're not going to give them the, MR, the messenger RNA codons. We are going to give them the DNA bases. So, wow, now we're going to do this. So you get something like this. We're going to do the following. Okay, let me get a nice bright yellow. If this is the base triplet for DNA, we're going to make this the messenger RNA codon. All right. And we're going to make this one the tRNA anticodon. Now it's anti, so it's going to be complementary to the messenger RNA. Okay. And messenger RNA is going to be complementary to the DNA. And the DNA and the RNA are going to be the same. So let me show you. If the DNA is uh, um, AGT, your tRNA is going to be AGU because it doesn't have thymine. For CCG, the tRNA is going to be GGC. Let's do one more. For TGT, it's going to be UGU. All right, but your messenger RNA, well, it's going to be opposite. So it's, it's the complementary. So instead of A, remember A to T or U and G to C. So here A will be U because it's RNA, G to C and T to A. All right, here, what do we have? We are going to have G, G, C. Mm, this is wrong. I made a mistake here. <laughs> uh, okay, this is going to be CCG. All right, so here, let's do this last one. This is TGT, so this is going to be ACA. -A. All right, and that, this here, people, is what you must know. You must know DNA is complementary to messenger RNA, messenger RNA is complementary to RNA, tRNA, and tRNA and DNA are the same. Okay, so let's check our questions. With reference to the diagram in the table above, state the anticodon in the molecule Q. So, molecule Q, oh my goodness, we have to go back to our diagram. So, where is molecule Q? So molecule Q is going to be CCG, all right. It is going to be the anticodon, so this is going to be CCG, okay. Then name the amino acid labeled P, all right. Amino acid labeled P. Now, that amino acid is going to be carried by transfer RNA UGU. All right. So, we want the DNA of that is going to be, come on, think nicely, it's going to be TGT. All right. So, let's go here. And... And here we go, TGT is threonine. So, all right, now where are we? We've got describe how the composition of the protein molecule changes if the base sequence at X goes from UGU to UCA. So, how are we going to? And, and I can hear everything that's going on, so I'm so happy about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to say UCA, and we are looking at UGU, all right? So we go back to, oh no, wait, 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 we can go up here. All right, 
So we're looking at what the messenger RNA would be. Okay, so we're looking for U, it's going to be U, sorry, UCA and UGU, which is going to give us what in our DNA, because that's what we need to, to first figure out. So UCA is going to be, come on, think about it, very easy, it's going to be AGT. So there we go, it's going to be serine. And UGA what is the complementary of the DNA? It is going to... I thought I had two minutes. I'm going to quickly finish this, guys. So we have UCA, or ACA, and there we go. It is cysteine. So at the end of the day, because I don't have time to write this out, if we do... Um, if serine is supposed to be there and it is replaced with cysteine you're going to have a different order of the amino acids and the sequence of the amino acids and the minute you replace serine with cysteine you're going to end up with a different sequence which will result in a different protein all right remember that <music>